We've all heard the expression, they just don't make them like they used to. Well, there is a truth to that, and if you look in your drawer, I'm sure you will find a stack of unusable cell phones and other tech gadgets. I've had my smartphone for about three years now. It is out of warranty, it needs a new battery, and the idea of getting a new phone is absurd to me because this one still works. I just need a new battery. Replacing it, however, isn't so simple. The manufacturers glued the battery inside and there is a lot of steps in replacing it. Additionally, I can't upgrade the operating system. And if I have any issue with it, they've already told me they can't provide any more support. It's as if the manufacturer is saying, it's unfixable, you'll need to upgrade to a new phone. Well, there's some truth to the matter. It is called planned obsolescence, one of my least favorite terms in the English language. Why? Well, because products are intentionally built to fail. Imagine spending $1200 on a phone and you are supposed to get rid of it when the battery rounds out after just two years of use. With planned obsolescence, consumer goods rapidly become obsolete through their design and thus require replacement. We've become a throwaway society. One of the major drawbacks of getting rid of technology so quickly is the mountains of electronic waste that is created, also known as e-waste. 6.9 million metric tons of e-waste was generated in the US alone in 2019. About 10% of the e-waste is recycled globally. The remaining ends up in landfills or incinerated or illegally shipped to countries that don't have laws on handling e-waste. A lot of this e-waste contains harmful chemicals such as arsenic, cadmium, lead, beryllium and other hazardous materials that end up in the soil, water and air which cause harm to people and the environment. We are too concerned with the recycling when reducing and reusing are the steps that can help fix the massive e-waste problem. One way I fight planned obsolescence is through the right to repair. The right to repair is a legal concept that allows consumers the ability to repair and modify their own electronic devices instead of taking them to the manufacturer for a costly repair. Instead of purchasing a whole new phone because the battery is dying, I do the repair myself. There are resources dedicated to self-repairing electronic products. Companies like iFixit have created kits with everything you need to do yourself. Now that I've replaced my phone battery, I have another 3 years with this phone. 